Today, I'll be reacting to how rookie Larry Bird shut a Celtic vet up in his first practice with Boston. Oh yeah, I'm ready to watch this. So let's go right into the video. If there's one thing we all know about Larry Bird, it's that his trash talk is in a class of its own. The Boston Celtics star dominated the NBA for 13 seasons, doing so with a wide array of skills mixed with incredible verbal insults. That said, a 22-year-old Bird wasn't exactly boasting about his abilities when he joined the Celtics ahead of the 1979-1980 season. The rookie joined training camp as an outsider, with several new teammates doubting his place on the team. But by the end of practice, the Hall of Famer got the last laugh without uttering a single word. A native of French Lick, Indiana, Bird burst onto the scene at Indiana State. In 1979, one year after getting drafted sixth overall by the Celtics, he led the Sycamores to their first-ever NCAA tournament and title game falling to Magic Johnson's Michigan State Spartans. Despite taking little-known Indiana State all the way to the NCAA National Championship, not everyone was sold on Bird. While Celtics president Red Auerbach knew what type of player he could be, several of his new teammates were skeptical. Cedric Maxwell was one of Boston's better players at the time of Bird's arrival. Fresh off of a career high of 19 points per game, Maxwell explained why he and the rest of his teammates doubted the hick from French Lick. He didn't impress me no more than any other white guy I've ever seen play before. I think that you would say that most black players at the time were racist in, in the sense that we did not think that you could find a, a white guy who could play better than any black guy. Along with the color of his skin, Bird's case to impress his teammates wasn't... Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, that that's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. Like what? <laughs> like what type of reason is that? Like, oh wow. So they just drafted him just to draft him. <laughs> they didn't think he was good at basketball or nothing. They didn't take him seriously because he was white. Wow. <laughs> wow. All I'm saying is, if you're on the court and you see a white guy hooping with brothers, he cold. <laughs> like, I don't I don't even have to see him play. He got the confidence to play with y'all, he cold. <laughs> <laughs> he the truth. He talking about Larry Bird ain't no different from any other white guy he saw. Like, <laughs> now, if you watch Larry Bird hoop, like, if you talking about, like, he's not fast, he's not athletic. If you talking about that, okay. Like, shooting-wise and hooping, no, nah, Larry Bird was that guy. Larry Bird was that guy. Now, if you talk about strictly, like, just physical, like, Larry Bird, he wasn't chiseled or nothing. He wasn't fast. He wasn't jumping. He was. He had not no forty-five inch vert. But come on. But when he start hooping, when you see Larry Bird hoop, he 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 right where he belong. Larry Bird was that guy. That's actually crazy. I want to go back to that though. That's actually crazy. Hick from French Lick. He didn't impress me no more than any other white guy I've ever seen play before. I think that you would say that most black players at the time were racist, in in the sense that we did not think that you could find a, a white guy who could play better than any black guy. Along with the color of his skin, Bird's case to impress his teammates wasn't helped by the fact he was on a five-year, $3.25 million contract, making him the highest-paid rookie in sports history. More often than not, rookies came into training camp on the outside looking in, but few faced more skepticism than Bird. When I walk in the first day of camp, them guys were on the floor stretching, and here comes the white savior, here comes this, here comes that. I sort of enjoyed it, because I knew I was going to battle them all day. The Curtis and Sydney didn't last long. They didn't make it through the first practice. And they were cut. So that was just Cedric. As practice moved along and Bird methodically took out each defender, the talented Maxwell finally stepped up to take the rookie down. However, Max was in for a rude awakening. I'm thinking, oh, he's slow, he can't get off a shot. He's not that strong. This is gonna be a layup. Bam, knocks down a jump shot. Maybe that was luck. Gets the ball again. Bam. Knocks down another jump shot. Now I'm thinking like, okay, hey, you know what? I'm going to D this guy up. I'm going to show him what it's like. 20 feet away. Bam. 25 feet away. Bam. <laughs> I, my mind just goes to the, this way guy can play. By that point, every... <laughs> See, that's exactly what I was saying. He probably was like talking about Larry Bird, like he ain't like he don't jump the highest, he ain't strong, he ain't chiseled or nothing. Larry Bird ain't like the fastest runner either. But I said it. When you see that brother shoot, yeah, when you see him shoot, you 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 know he the truth after that. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's actually funny. That's what I was saying. Larry Bird was that guy. Like they just ain't drafted him just to draft him. <laughs> 
like, bro, this man just came off pretty much a national championship game. He led his team. What what was they? What, 33-1, 34-1, 34-1, whatever it was, but they only lost was that championship game. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is hilarious. No, nah, that's actually funny. Cedric Maxwell's like, oh, oh, this brother can play. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. No, nah, Larry Bird, the truth. That's hilarious. Almost like 20 feet away. Bam. 25 feet away. Bam. I, my mind just goes so good. This white guy can play. By that point, every Celtic knew this bird kid was something special. It took all of one season for Larry Legend to become an NBA star. The 6'9 forward averaged 21.3 points en route to winning the Rookie of the Year award. By his second season, Bird and Maxwell played a vital role in winning the 1981 NBA Finals over the Houston Rockets, with the latter actually taking home the Finals MVP. With Bird, the Celtics made five NBA Finals and won three of them. On an individual level, he secured 12 All-Star appearances, 10 All-NBA nods, three All-Defense honors, and three league MVPs. He also Wait, let's look at this resume real quick. Yeah, because I think Larry Bird, he played like 13 years. So yeah, three-time champ, two-time finals MVP, three-time NBA MVP. Like the guy said, 12-time All-Star, All-Star Game MVP, nine-time first-team All-NBA. He made the All-NBA second team one time, three-time All-NBA defensive second team, rookie of the year, NBA All-Rookie first team. So yeah, pretty much as soon as Larry Bird stepped a foot on the NBA court, basically the best, if not one of the best players in the league. <laughs> pretty much looking at his resume he pretty much was probably one of the best players in the league already <laughs> no nah, larry bird was the truth though that that story is actually hilarious though a finals and won three of them on an individual level he secured 12 all-star appearances 10 all nba nods three all defense honors and three league mvps he also finished his outstanding 13-year career with averages of 24.3 points 10 boards and 6.3 assists bird may have entered Wait, let me go back. Hold on, let me go back. Yeah, 24, 10, and 6 on 50% shooting, 38%, yeah, from 3, and 89% from the free throw line. Those are amazing stats. <laughs> Those are beautiful stats. Oh, my goodness. Nah, yeah, Larry Bird was nice. Yeah, yeah, shout out, to, shout out to Larry Bird. Shout out to Larry Bird. Yeah, he was the truth. Yeah, Larry Bird, the truth. Those are great stats. Oh, my goodness. It's honors and three league MVPs. He also finished his outstanding 13-year career with averages of 24.3 points, 10 boards, and 6.3 assists. Bird may have entered his first training camp as the only person believing in his superstar abilities. But by the time his career came to a close in 1992, the whole world knew he was one of the league's all-time great stars. That was a very interesting video right there. Man! <laughs> Larry Bird told Cedric Maxwell, like, okay, y'all picking on me, y'all messing with me, but I'm that guy, though. Remember that. I'm that guy. Like, come on now. Honestly, though, like, with rookies, like, with teams, like, picking them and all that, you got to make your mark in the NBA. Like, don't, don't mess with me. I'm just as good as y'all. <laughs> yes, yes, this is my first year, but I'm just as good as y'all. Don't mess with me. <laughs> like, I'm low-key the best player on this team, if we're being honest. If I'm being honest, I'm trying to be humble right now. But if I'm being honest, I'm the best player on this team. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> no, that story was actually funny, though. Yeah, Larry Bird was that guy. Larry Bird was the truth. That was actually hilarious. <laughs> Cedric Maxwell talking about, man, he was like, he said, man, this guy can play. <laughs> so drop down in the comments below y'all thoughts about this video, y'all thoughts about this story, what y'all thoughts about Larry Bird and Cedric Maxwell. I'm just curious to see what you all think, and I hope everyone have a blessed day. I'm out.